So, a quick little update here, guys, on our continued obedience to our overlords. Uh, you can see it flooded down here this morning. We had this, this pump. It's like a $600 pump with a fire hose attached, running 24-7, never shuts off. And it tripped the breaker. So, she flooded. And, uh, yeah, my shoes are soaked right to the core. But we've got the uh, permanent sump pumps in now. That one is set deeper. So I put one block, one cement block under that one, and two cement blocks under that one. And both, you can see the pipe is run up into the wall, runs all the way across. That one runs up into the wall, runs all the way across, both inch and a half. And it ties into a T here and then goes into two inch and goes down under the ground and it goes outside. We have an additional check valve. Uh, why is the camera doing that? There we go. Additional check valve there and a check valve on each unit. And the, and the, tr the goal is basically if that one fails, then the battery backup will take over. And if that one gets overloaded or that fails, then it will all back up through the pipes into this one because they're both connected. Except everything's pitched this way towards that one. So that we want it all to go to there just because it's in the back corner. It can make all the noise it wants. This is next to the movie theater. So the one back there kicks on every three minutes on the dot. Runs for 10 seconds and shuts off. This one, because it's higher, runs every 15 minutes. Runs for 10 seconds and shuts off. Uh, and we, we're, I mean, we're trying everything here. We have uh, another drainage pipe in the back here for this pit, which is going to be covered anyway. But that pipe goes down around the back because this is the top of the hill. All the water hits the back of the foundation here. So we're trying to collect it at the source. And that perforated pipe goes all the way down into a stone pit in the way back corner of the house. A deep, deep, you know, stone pit. And then we're going to put even more drainage pipes in for the downspouts and the shedding of the driveway. We'll go into another pipe system, which will run out to the front of the house and go into a storage tank that will be connected to the city uh, water overflow. But right now we have these new sump pumps it's all just piped outside and then I just put a male adapter and I took the fire hose off of that connected it on outside and it's just run across the yard and it's just draining down the hill right now because we still don't know what we're gonna connect that into yet because we're still fighting with the town it's absolutely insane all of this could have been avoided, but we had to be obedient. We wanted to build up out of the water table. They said, no, you've got to keep the original piece of the house, which you can see most of these uh, floor joists are sistered anyway, because they were all completely destroyed. And if we go upstairs and I show you how many studs actually got saved, it would make you puke. Because they were all rotted, so like, what are we supposed to do? So no one's going to be able to tell, uh, walking up and down the street, that we preserved history here. Uh, it's just nonsense. So make sure you vote so we can vote these idiots out of office.